Hello, it's Trevor Bullen here for the nursery and garden industry of Victoria's Rediscover Your Garden. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about fertilisers and try and demystify what, uh, what fertilisers are. There are so many different types of fertilisers and sometimes it can get very confusing about what types to use. So I'm going to keep it really simple today. I'm just going to talk about three different types. There are other different ones uh, or, or different types of fertiliser, but I'm just going to talk about three of them today to keep it nice and simple. The first one I'm going to look at here is what we call our slow release fertiliser. These are little capsules of fertiliser that are coated in a, um, a material that breaks down slowly over time. So this particular one I've got here is a six to eight month fertiliser. So you put that on your garden and for six to eight months, that'll gradually feed your plants. The other type of fertiliser I'm going to talk about today is also a, um, a granulated fertiliser, but this isn't a, This is a little bit quicker releasing. So this one um, feeds your plants for six to eight weeks. So if you want a little bit more of a, a, a quicker response from your plant, then this granulated fertiliser is, is the type to use. The other fertiliser um, to talk about is the ones we use in liquid feed programs. Now these ones are very quick acting. So when I mix this one up, and put it onto my plant, I get a growth response within 10 days, but it doesn't last very long. So in 10 days, the plant's picked it up and growing. Um, after about 20 days, that fertilizer's been used up and you then need to repeat it again. So you might ask me, well, where do I use these different types of fertilizers? So with your granulated fertilizer, or your, sorry, your slow release fertilizer, you're gonna use that on a plant that you want to um, you know, perform over a period of time. And one of a, a really good example of where you could use this type of fertilizer is in, on a hydrangea. So we might just walk across here. Um, so I've had some hydrangeas here. These are um, endless summer hydrangeas. Um, I just want these to sort of kick away now. They'll start producing flowers probably about uh, November, December. And I'm gonna put some of this, uh, this fertilizer on here. Now I've actually measured out because I know my hand uh, holds about 50 grams of fertiliser, so for a plant that size, probably want to be putting on 100 grams. But again, always read the directions on the uh, on the label to get the correct rate. So that's slow release, and you can use that on a variety of plants. This one here um, is granulated fertiliser. As I said before, we get a bit of a quicker response with that. So you might want to use this on your roses. So I've got some roses here behind me. These are flower carpet roses that I've cut back um, probably about three weeks ago and you can see already that they're starting to uh, to grow and kick away so I want to really keep these growing fairly quickly because I want to get some flowers on these and they should flower up sort of early November so again we sprinkle it on following the directions about 50 grams in my hand there and I'll sprinkle this round the round the base of the plant so I can go over the over the top here the important thing will be once um, once you've done that if you've got any fertilizer on the foliage Give it a good water and make sure you wash any of that fertilizer off the, uh, off the foliage. All right, and as I said, this one's a good one for when you want to get a reasonably quick response from your plants. The last one, as I mentioned before, is your liquid feed. So this one dissolves fully in water, and I've actually mixed up um, some in this watering can here, and I'm going to apply that to my uh, indoor plant. Now it's very important, um, particularly with this fertiliser and this one here, that your plants are well watered before the uh, fertiliser goes on. If you put this on with, uh, or, or put it onto dry soil, you risk burning the roots of your plant. So I watered this, uh, this plant yesterday so it's nice and moist, and I'm just going to give him some fertiliser now. Now again, if I get too much on the foliage, I'll give that a little bit of a water later on just to, uh, to wash that off. So, that's fertilizing the three different types that I've got here um, the main thing to remember with fertilizers is always follow the directions so sometimes I find people think well I put if a certain amount is good then extra will make it even better but it actually works in reverse if you put too, on too much fertilizer you can actually inhibit the growth of your plants so the main thing is follow the directions and make sure your plants are nice and damp when you put your fertilizer on I hope you've um, yeah learned a little bit about fertilizers today thank you